All right. There we go. I can't hear anything. What's happening? I mean, you can't hear anything. Well, it's just, hang on. I was going to play my song, but apparently that is not going to work. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, guys. If you will just give me a second, that would be fabulous. So let me just, I've got like four windows open because I've got the OBS, which is the streaming software. They can hear me. That is good news. Thank goodness for <sighs> Boy, that's annoying. There we go. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to play that for a second while I pull up like a screen so I can see what you see. And bonsoir. How are we? Dang. Live on another screen. Oh my gosh. A lot of you guys have my phone number, which I think is so funny. Or creepy. You know, it just depends on how you look at it. Both. <laughs> Mommy Lee said both. Okay, there's a little bit of our song, and you ladies can hear me. I tell you, that is like, I won't say it's almost like having a baby because that's really painful, but. <laughs> It's really painful knowing that you all are waiting. And Laura Bren says that's her ringtone, Amelie. No way. Is that a ringtone? I actually have a really cool ringtone. I have Red Right Hand, which is just like a bad ringtone, bleep song that I really love. But um, how fun. Bonsoir, Toronto. How are you? Okay, so this is where I try to figure out how to coordinate all this because I really can't stand it when you guys are just watching me read comments all night. So I try to coordinate my eye contact with you. I can read comments to you. No, and glance down at my comments accordingly. And now there's a text message coming through and that's usually from a family member that's like, I can't hear you. Wait, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Say it, Chelsea. Yeah, that ringtone. Like, can we market that? <laughs> can we do something with that? The Don't Say song is a ringtone. So a lot of you have had questions. This is so weird. Oh. Yes, thank you, Rainbow. Love you, girlfriend. She's always reminding you guys to hit, hit the like button because that's how, that is the only way YouTube knows to promote these live streams and then your comments. So YouTube is all about whatever is written which you've probably noticed if you've ever read my very contrived video <laughs> descriptions. Um, fabulous. Get some wine. Christina Ballerina? Is that who you are? Christina? Chris, Krista Ballerina. I have a little bubbly here. And I have my three daughters joining me for a while till they get bored. This Great Smoky Mountains. Hello. Hello, Colorado. Hello, Australia. Good gracious. Is it like... Wednesday in Australia? How far right. away is that? All right. Wonderful. Uh, Amelie, Miss Morbier, notice that you have a vest on. She said yeah, it's mother-daughter vest season. I replied. Oh, Amelie is modding for me. said, nope, I recorded it from your intro. <gasps> okay, so the song, did I shrink it down? I got rid of it. The song is called Dulce, which is the French formal verb or plural for dance. And a lot of you have asked like, what is she saying? A lot of you have thought it was me doing the song. It's not. Um, but what she's saying is enchanté, which means nice to meet you. So I think it's like the perfect song for my introduction. And woo um, next week, uh, next week's YouTube video is a new channel. I don't know what they call them, you guys. I really don't understand how YouTube works. I don't know if it's called like a channel ad or a channel. Do you know what it's called? What? I'm sorry. I wasn't paying it's like a channel video. So, you know, for a long time when you landed on my channel, I had the. Um, oh, it'd just be like. Uh, I don't know. There is a I tapping noise. What? Is that you? Stop doing that. Okay. Stop. It's her. It's all her fault. Um, there is. Can you spell that, please? Um, Enchanté. I can try to. I'm the worst. E E E N C H A N T. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Enchanté. Past tense. Delighted. Enchanté. You've heard it in every movie. You just didn't know what they were saying. Enchanté. 
There is a constant tapping noise. Okay. Why don't you stop? Is so, the like, constant tapping noise gone because we had a six-year-old with a piece of metal? Seven. I am missing Shay, Dorothy. She is flying back, so we can all pray for her safety. She'll be resting so far in Seattle and then heading home. And she's never allowed to go on vacation again without me, so. <laughs> and I, someone said my favorite color is glitter. Oh. Mm. oh. Bethany just cracked a bottle of Dry Farm. Fabulous. I'm jelly. Oh, that is so cool. Laura, Laura, that's a... That's borderline and on groupie there, girlfriend. That's pretty cool. You need to tell us how to tell us how to do that. Um, that would be really fun for my ringtone. I just I'm, googled it. I'm like playing with my hair. So I obviously got I went from the chin length bob to the lip length bob and I'm trying to get used to it. Um, I really like it, but I wanted it super short because I drive so far to get my hair cut and I didn't want it to be grown out by Halloween for goodness sake. So Elizabeth's Little seven-year-old just um, caught her own bangs. Oh, my. You are oh. not allowed to do that. <laughs> no, I have never vacationed in Quebec City. Um, I want to so badly. So, like, if you have a an Airbnb or something and you'd like the family and I to come up, we would love to see Quebec City. I think that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, I need to pay attention to comments here. Yeah, right. Uh, Door County, uh, you like you guys like Door County is really interesting. Sometimes you go out and you're like, uh, um, it's very interesting. But we are very very remote and removed. Um, but we do have you know a really hmm, don't get me started on our governor. But you know like it's you know you got to wear a mask everywhere, but then you don't. So look, I'm like happy to do like what's happening over there. Uh, what? it was just loading. Okay, I'm just watching the stream because I don't want people to complain that it's wonky. Like, I'm happy to do whatever for the greater good, you know, and I like things that make sense. I'm kind of a pragmatic girl that way. So, like, the fact that I have to wear a mask at the farmer's market, but then I can, like, turn around and drive a half a mile and walk through town with everyone else and I don't have to wear a mask, that would fall under the nonsensical category. And that sort of pushes my buttons but but otherwise um I'm very happy because Door County businesses are open and we are a community that is only open anyways six months of the year so it would have been devastating for these family businesses that have been here for uh, 75 years you know to go under they, they need to operate. So um, it's been really sweet to see families coming here on vacation and coming and they're, you know, they're all wearing masks and people are, you know, when you drive by, it looks like they're following the rules. And um, so that's great. I'm happy for the local economy that way. So are you pragmatism. Going to the gym these days? Yes. Am I going to the gym? Um, <sighs> I'm not going to the gym. I won't. I won't be going back to the gym for, I don't know. Um, some of you saw uh, my Instagram feed. I had a friend who was, um, hmm, I want to choose my words wisely because I have small ears. So unjustifiably lost, okay, the M word. And she worked at the gym and she was the one who greeted me every morning. And it was devastating. And, um, yeah, she, I had a friend who was murdered, and so I don't see myself going back to the gym anytime soon because it's too difficult. Um, as Joy, Joy says, I have a comedian sitting by you. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I've been not reading the comments, so Amelie's going to holler to me. What are you doing for Halloween decorations? Halloween decorations. Um, I don't do Halloween decorations because that doesn't really move me, but I am doing a ton of fall decorations. I grew a lot of gourds and pumpkins, and so I'm bringing in a ton of sage and letting that dry and a ton of dry hydrangea. Thank you so much. Um, um, definitely not for my condolences, but her poor family. It's just outrageous. Um, uh 
and so dried sage and gourds and pumpkins and um i brought out all my autumnal colored like wool blankets and blankets there it definitely is like cozy fall vibe in the house so that is really really fun um i don't know you know i don't know if the kids will be trick-or-treating in the community i don't think so i don't I and mean, this is really small community anyways so to do that kind of stuff with the kids is borderline impossible unless you want to go store to store in the sleeting horrible rain like i mean and most people are just up here for the summer yeah it's just like like in about 10 days aside from people that come up here for the fall color over the weekend this community is just going to go like womp everything just shuts down and so that's when you usually see like the surge of my of me on social media even because there's just so much more like you're just home you're just home all the time so all right pumpkin spice wine russians here what in the world is that oh my goodness it's 53 here yeah i think we got into the 30s last night so um Tricks for drying herbs. My always crumble to nothing. Well, mine end up crumbling. They get dusty. I don't care. Like dried herbs. Oh, I love them. I have them everywhere. I have just sage. I grew a ton of sage. I have it tucked in everywhere. Um, I think maybe some of you heard on the podcast that I was talking about. Did I talk about that on the podcast? Um, the hydrangea. There's some this hedge of hydrangea around here. Hold on, I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> and um. I am planning to be there next week when the village cuts it down and I'm just going vehicle with hydrangea. I did find enough plaid material, Jenny. I actually have plaid coming out my nose. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you who sent me plaid oh fabric. God, so much plaid. Like, I can't wait. I'm just going to... What does the word festoon mean? Does festoon mean to decorate? Could you Google the word festoon? Because I want to say I'm going to festoon the entire house with swags of plaid. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try to read it's some of these. It's a chain or garland of flowers, leaves or ribbons. Okay. The then I'm going to festoon the house with garland. I used that right. Um, Myra, I got my beeswax from Amazon this year. And um, Anais is A N A I S. A N A I S. And I can't spell out loud. A N A I S with a trema over the I. So. What is the I called? That is a trema, the two dots. What is it called? The trema? Too much plaid. I know, Lori. No, there's no such thing as too much plaid, Lori, and you are to thank for that. No way. Tapping, Tapping again. again. Oh, it's on Ace's stool. Oh, is that you again? Okay, then, okay stop. It's a bumpy stool. stool. You have to sit still, okay? Because okay. they can hear everything. <laughs> Shay's herb salt. Yes, Shay's herb salt is sick and creates sick in a good way. Crazy delicious. Um, basil. Is the potager done? The potager is kaput. Uh, I woke up yesterday morning to three deer annihilating it. And yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Um, I am going to try to do a bed a day for the rest of the month and just completely weed and tear out and dress with manure that bed and just instead of trying to look at the the garden as a whole I'm going to just try to do one bed as a time with at a time with excellence because um it's a little overwhelming you know you're going like all September and you're busy and you're busy and you're busy and we have butchering to do and there's still peppers out there I need to bring in and um I'm just, it's just been, it's just overwhelming because you make this huge transition from being um, like this uber gardener to homeschool mom, or I have, and my gardening just came to a screeching halt. And, you know, then I start turning in and I'm like decorating a ton and having fun with creativity inside the house. And then I turn back around and think, oh my goodness, my garden needs me so bad. So I know that any work that I do uh, right now will pay off in spades in the spring. So... Whew. Yeah, it's, it's, I can't wait till it's just clean and tidy. You know, it needs to be mowed. The potager is I went out there today and I was walking and there was just this huge snake in the grass. The grass is just way too long. And so uh, what should I do with leftover sage? Sue, uh, 
Well, you can um, burn it. it. Smells lovely to start your fire with it, and you can just use it for recipes. I just grind it up and use it for recipes, and I just like the way it looks hanging around. I love it. I just love it tucked in everywhere. Five hundred bulbs. Five hundred bulbs. Ainsley has 500 bulbs to plant. I don't have any bulbs to plant. That is how far behind I am. I have a list. I have not ordered garlic. Hmm. I haven't ordered shallots. Hmm. I haven't ordered any tulips. Hmm. I'm just so behind. It's terrible. Oh, Lilac Cottage. What oils are best for neurological symptoms? They don't know what's wrong. Oh. Oh gosh, like MS. I mean, that's like a whole conversation. You should email me, but you know, I'd say always start with frankincense because that's what I did for neurological issues. But you should email me because we should talk. Um, yes, ma'am. Did we get Tanja's package? Yes, I got everyone's package. You guys are amazing. Oh, we should have. No, it's Tanya. Tanya we should have okay. like. I, I, you guys have gotten like five packages this week. This packages this week, and we got. Donna and Tanya and Lori so much who else there's two or two other ones at least are you guys I'm brain farting I should have been more prepared with thank yous for everybody but if you sent me something this week thank you like you guys are ridiculously kind it's um what is the variety of sage that has big leaves I don't know I have that one too I really like the common sage but I do have some of those uh leaves that look more like I mean, they're big, almost like a lamb's ear, big, so. <sighs> okay. Let me just, like, take a scroll really quick. Holtz Mammoth has big leaves. It's sage. Okay. Yeah, I have some. I just, I started it by accident um, with seed, and Sacramento is still in the 90s. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Aging gracefully as packages do here tomorrow. You guys are amazing. You are so kind. When you, you're so kind. We've just been, the girls and I have been like unboxing stuff this week. I literally have a stack of fabric this high. And that's fantastic. I will use <laughs> every yard of it. And it's just really, really touching. You know, I mean, I'm homeschool mom and I'm here all week. And Joel will run to town a couple times a week and bring home packages, and it truly, truly brightens my day. Kat Mason would love it if you did a live unboxing, and Krista James wants to know if there's any pumpkin or spice dishes you love. Um, okay, a live unboxing. I usually end up doing those on Instagram. I have an itch. I think I have a mosquito bite on the back of my neck. Excuse me. Um, Tracy bought the French press and loves it. Uh, and then as far as pumpkin spice dish or pumpkin dish, um, I do make, make Mimi Thorison's pumpkin um, tart, which is in her one of her cookbooks. It's very, very delicious. What was the long leaf you dried at the end of your last video? That was sage. That was like a common sage, uh, Laura. That's what that was. That is my favorite. And yes <laughs> i have so much more to bring in and i can't wait i'm just like biding my time i have it in my transfer word jars i just have it on the fireplace tucked in in between the gourds i love it the moss is doing fabulous but we live in a really mossy area um impossible is asking about the moss so um i have certain areas of my forest that are just covered in moss it's a really pretty um effect we have here so we have the trees and the fence posts and things that get covered in the lichen and then big moss patches and um, there's certain forests here where they are, there are boulders in the forest and they're just covered in moss. It's stunning, especially when the forest is naked, when there are no trees and you just have the hummus on the ground and then the stones covered in moss. It is absolutely beautiful. Tips for um, a mom of five with all the kids under six years old? Uh, no, not really. Just hold on. <laughs> and you're in the trenches, and it will all be okay. And um, it's just a very trying time. It's a beautiful, but try. it's very challenging. I, I feel you. So just know you're not alone in that. Um, a lot of us have gone through that, and, you know, I still have that from a smaller age gap on down. But, yeah. Still tapping in the background. 
I mean, now you're really going to need to stop. No, do you think it's you? Why don't you go sit in that chair? It couldn't be me typing. A I'm lot not. of times it is, like when we do the podcast, if my phone is around, my phone interferes with the microphone, but my phone isn't around. Wow, that's so weird. What's you wax cheese. What? Yeah, you may. Okay. Um, don't let them yell at you, okay? There is a podcast on for Monday. Yeah, we're going to record it really quick Monday morning because Shay gets home really, really late tonight. And yeah, there will be a podcast on Monday, but it will be late because that's the way we're rolling right now. So um, waxing cheese. I've just done a little bit of cheese. So this, this will be my winter to see if it works out. You guys, after she leaves, because she's got this wobbly stool right here, so I'm going to move it aside and let me... Um, let me know if the Patreon links are acting crazy. Can't get the books to download. Love all the posts. Just wanted to see if it was just me. No, Ainsley, it's not just you. Something is up with Patreon, and I just posted. I finally, I personally was finally able to get into the Homemaker Chic Podcast Patreon account the other day and give an update. So we've actually hired someone to help us with that. That person is out of town until Sunday. <laughs> So we're just hoping on mo on Monday, like for October, like everything can go back to normal. For those of you, if you're interested in advertising or you've sent inquiries to the podcast, which is the info at Homemaker Chic Podcast um, email, it doesn't even work. So we've hired a firm to remake our website, which we kind of liked, but we have to do a makeover because it's not working and we can't even access our emails. And we've hired someone to help us with Patreon. They still hear the, the tapping. I got nothing, guys. I can't Sorry. help you. I can't help you with the tapping. Um, oh, I, I have no idea. Unless it's a mic sensitivity. I can audio input. I'm going to turn down no, my no, mic. No, Brian, it's not me. I haven't been tapping. My finger was wagging. But tapping. <laughs> uh, the tapping stopped. Okay. All right, I just turned on my mic, well, but I'm now... Well, right now. Could that be it? No, you don't have a mic on your... No, Amelie doesn't have a mic on the oh. Chromebook, so weird. I don't have any tips for planting garlic because I never have. This will be my first year because I couldn't get to it the last two years, and before that we were renting. Um, Cheyenne is asking about her rosemary, so definitely watch my video from... You're not receiving enough video to maintain. Um, Aiden might have to get off of, until we're done. Okay. Okay, would you go tell talk. him that? Yeah. All right. And, yeah, tell Aiden to get off because there's mm -hmm. tapping and I don't have enough stream. Golly. Yeah, it's mice. Seriously, we have so many mice. What the frig? We have so many mice. It's unbelievable. Um, will you run down there and tell him, please? I'm texting. Yeah, but he's not going to see it. Um, I would watch my rosemary video. The tips on rosemary are keep it away from any heat vent. Okay. For the best results with your rosemary, you want to keep it potted. So even if you have to keep up potting every year because it gets root bound, which is one of, if you watch like my Potager series this year, that's one of the first things I did was I, I took out rosemary and I put it in a slightly bigger container uh, to, and kind of pulled the roots to help it from being root bound. Um, but your potted rosemary is going to do better than digging it out of the ground and bringing it in. Um, all that being said, that when you do bring it in, keep it away from any sort of vent, heat vent where there's dry air blowing on it, like if you've turned your furnace on yet. And when you water it, you want to totally saturate it, and then you'll know that it needs to be watered the next time you stick your finger in the middle of the dirt and it feels dry inside. If it still feels damp after you stick your finger in, it's not ready to be watered again. So it's usually a case of underwatering or overwatering. They like humidity. Um, you can keep a spray bottle nearby and just spray them down once a day even to keep those leaves moist. How is it now? Yeah. Because the kid, Aiden was on his hot spot and the kids were watching movies, so I had them stop. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, everybody says mice, 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 mice. Yep. What about mice? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, lots of people have mice. Ugh, it's just bad. 
the front porch is coming slowly, so I just convinced Joel to put the order in today with Lowe's because our Lowe's is like, I don't know, 175 miles from here. And so they bring a truck up once a week and we need concrete and rebar to finish it. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> and, um, and then I'm like, okay, like we got to get this done because it's going to start like just sleeting and snowing and raining and being horrible. And like, if you get your part done, and then the weather turns bad, then I'm stuck doing my part in the crappy weather. And my part, I'm this, like this, Joel builds the foundation for these things that you've seen us do. And then I do the stone masonry. Like I'm doing all the stones. So cats, cats, cats. We have a cat. There are Outlander dress patterns on Amazon, someone said. Right. Oh, there's Outlander dress patterns to be sure. And, um, hang on, I was through the other one. Um, Can you tell me if any books inspire your house decor? Oh, yeah. Your apartment, right? Um, there's a lot of books that inspire my house decor. Um, but I have to tell you, like, my main... Uh, my main inspiration these days... And, and I, I mentioned this on an old video, probably, like, last spring, when I did, like, the spring farmhouse tour, the one my mom was on, is a, um, a, U, a YouTube... An Instagram feed called... Um, I don't even know you guys. I don't pay attention. Except eccentric English home. It's English eccentric, eccentric home. English eccentric home. It's my favorite. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's just. Uh, I hate Larry. I yeah. hate her. I think Ew. she's a spoiled brat who needs Ew. a spanking. That's what I think. Allison, I can't stand your eye. I don't feel sorry for her at all. Blah. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like her. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's my that's just a wonderful source of inspiration for me. And um, my problem is that with, with social media, I don't spend a lot of time on social media because I can't. And when I do... I don't pay attention. So I see things and I don't pay attention to whom I'm looking at. Um, so there is a gal in Chicagoland called McGillicuddy. Love her. Uh, English eccentric home. Love, love that one. There is a um, beautiful book called La Vie Belle um, that is, I think, fantastic. Uh, that's been a, a great source of inspiration over the last 10 years. So, okay, here we go. Oh, someone has as the werewoman cook. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Thank you, Shona. That is fun. That was Ami Lee when she was just a wee one. Yes, we were on the cover of Where Women Cook. Super oh, fun. Yeah, um, <clears throat> funny story. So if you look at my, am I like this on the, on the cover or something like that was just a snapshot. I don't even think we used a camera. I think that might even be like a phone picture. I don't remember. No, maybe it's my old Canon, but we were just like having, we had, we had gone and cut our Christmas tree and I just had, I think I just had the two kids at the time. I think it was probably, I don't know, maybe three months pregnant in that picture. I had made that skirt. I had a little thrift store plaid dress that Amelie Lee was wearing and I had my hand like, like I was making this really good dinner. I remember this dinner. It was steak and the sauteed, like a braised red cabbage and wine. If you look at the countertop, there's like a lot of wine on the countertop. And, um, you know, I remember all spice. I can just see myself in the kitchen making that. Anyways, we snapped this picture and they asked for some photographs for the article. I had no idea it was going to be on the cover. And so I sent them that, and there, then a few months later, they messaged, and I think it was maybe the, I think it was the second or third actual edition of the magazine. I remember, like, Prairie, what's her name? Prairie Woman, right? Is that her name? What's her name? Prairie, what is her name? Who? Prairie Woman. I think she was on the first edition, and then Elizabeth Maxim was on the second. And then I think I was on the third or vice versa. Um, but they sent me like the proof, you know, and I said, <laughs> I had a twister, a rubber band around my um, wrist. Get down, sweetie. And I said, you guys, I'm like really humbled 
you know, I've got like a Gracie ponytail and that it's just such a precious photograph of my daughter and I making this dinner after we cut our family Christmas tree. But for the love, could you please edit out the rubber band on my wrist? Because I literally, Pioneer Woman. Thank you, Pioneer Woman. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Um, somebody wants to see a picture of it. You want to go down and grab it off my... Yep. My library cart in my Someone studio. Someone was asking if you had seen Poldark. Have I seen Poldark? <laughs> Girl, like, is the Pope Catholic? Yeah, I've seen Poldark. Yeah, I've, I've seen Poldark. Actually, I haven't finished it, so no spoilers. I actually don't know what season I left off on. I'm very excited to finish it. Yes, my darling. Why can't we hear from over here? Well, because we, were, we only have, we have our podunk internet, and there's only so much juice and so you guys were stealing my juice you're just gonna have to wait it's friday night you can stay up as late as you want okay okay i'm such a perfectionist laura come on if you were on the cover of a magazine like for your first and only time ever would you want a black twister on your wrist like please that is just so cliche can you just get rid of the rubber band on my wrist oh my gosh Reed drummond pioneer woman that is the girl um, what about Victoria? What about Victoria? Tell me who you're talking about. I never did start Jamestown. Oh boy. See, this is what you guys do. You guys make the best recommendations. And yes, the hair is total Louisa Durrell. So Catriona Baff or whatever her name is called from Outlander. I had the bob of hers because that was like more chin length. And then I went to Andre last week and I'm like, look, just cut it off. Like, just give me the full Louisa. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Let me see if I can get that. So this is, uh, where is it? Uh, clear over there. That was the rubber, the wrist. I had the rubber band. And look at girlfriend here. Isn't she cute? Look at that. She is so cute. Get over here so they can see you now. <laughs> I'm Ailey. TV show over Queen Victoria. Oh, I think I've seen everything there is to do with Queen Victoria. Oh, speaking of the royalty, can you hand me that sweets, that biscuit tin? You guys know I collect uh, commemorative souvenirs from the royal family. Look at this beast I just got. Did I get this today? I got it yesterday. It's a biscuit tin. Edward the Sixth and the Queen Mum. Look at that. Are those my colors or what? It's so beautiful. All right, I wanna see what you guys have to say about this. Oh my gosh. Oh, this yes, stupid yes. screen is reversed. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, so pretty. Yes, Amelie does smile with her eyes. She surely does. I need more copies of the magazine. I only have one copy, which is scary. Like, what was I thinking? I was probably like flat broke when it came out and the $11 would have broke the bank, but this is my old kitchen. And yeah, you can see all the wine bottles on the back there. I think I was drinking one and cooking with the other. So yeah, I do. I have a big royalty commemorative um, collection. I have a coronation cup. Um, be from before the abdication. I have really good stuff. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's so cute. I found the tin at a local shop up here and I told the lady, I said, I've been up here for almost three years and I have, there's only one other piece of commemorative wear that I've seen and it's at a shop like 20 minutes south of here. It's a tray. They want $95 for it and I'm just, I can't do that. But it's got the king and queen, and it's got Elizabeth and Margaret. It's like the whole royal family. Oh, kiss me the vapors. But they've had it for two years, so I'm like, maybe that's your clue that we are priced a little bit high for northern Wisconsin. I don't know. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. Okay. They do have back issues. I know, but that would, like, require an effort on my part. <laughs> that would just have to add that to the to-do list. I know that tin is beautiful. It has like this aquamarine color and yeah, so loving it. Howard's End. Okay, I'll do that. Climbing roses or jasmine. <sighs> okay, so here's what happened. I have some funny stories for you guys, but 
last week. This is not funny. This is this falls under you snooze, you lose, or you live too far away, or you're, the fact that I just want to do it all. The list is just too long. Um, you know, when you're serving the family, which I'm totally happy to do, but then I have to wait till I have like a pocket of time to do my thing. So I bolted to Green Bay last week, and I'm thinking, okay, duh. Excuse me, my nose is running. It's the third week of September, and so I'm going to go buy a few more perennials, and I'm going to buy whatever is left in the greenhouse and use it in my greenhouse. So I wanted a bougainvillea. I wanted jasmine. I wanted some things to just enjoy all winter and to plant for my garden for fall. There's nothing. Like, they got some scraggly, horrible, mangy-looking plants for 75% off. Not even anything really worth salvaging. And that was it. Really sad. I really wanted a jasmine. Just really wanted a jasmine. I have a pencil here and it has busted lead. I like to take notes while you guys are talk giving me ideas. Um, suggested books. Oh gosh. I don't know. We'll have to do that next time because I'm kind of behind in books. Mm. It's I'm just coming into my book season. So we'll do that the next time. If you ever sell your tambourine, lady. What do you think of Meghan Markle? That is not, you are just like, I just you're just you. setting me up with the Meghan Markle question. What do you think I think of Meghan Markle? I'll just toss that ball back in your court. Good job, Mom. Um, Brilliant. Way to think on your feet, Mom. Um, uh, thoughts on a moon garden? Rosemary, tell me. Oh my me goodness, Mom, we have 528 people watching. Oh my goodness. No way. Are you kidding me? Thank you for pointing that out. Mama. Cheyenne Bunny. 534 of you are here? Well, it's 529 now, but still. <laughs> After I said Megan Markle, they're like, I'm out. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is just so kind. Happy and Friday to you. Um, the lamp. Gardens. Oh, my little giton. Yes, my tambourine. I call her my giton, my gypsy. I love her with the little lamb. I broke her a few months ago and I had to repair her. I love her. I won't be parting with her anytime soon, Laura. But um, if I see another one, I will let you know. Poor Harry. Elizabeth said poor Harry. I'm just going to... Um, yes, I love her. Thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Wow. Hello, everyone. I think we're kind of caught up. You guys are making me laugh. Okay, moon garden. Using white and silver oh, flowers and plants that glow in the moonlight. Rosemary. Okay, so yes. Totally love. I didn't know it was called a moon garden. So this is what's so great is we all get to learn from each other. I love white flowers in my garden. So I did white echinacea for the first time this year. I did autumn um, clematis for the first time this year. I have white, um, oh my goodness. Isabel just found your channel and loves your style and what an inspiration. Thank you. I'm just brain farting, you guys. It's the end of the day. Not Larkspur. Hey, I started washing dishes with one glove on. What's the other one? Not Larkspur. What's the so other one? Okay. Holy cow, that I grow in all bright blue. Lupine. Not Lupine. Um, Wait, oh. It's, it's okay. okay, don't worry about it. Delphinium. White, Delphinium, thank you, Amelie. Um, the white flowers, what I love about them is like as the sun is setting, like you just said, they start to glow and they just add this beautiful touch to the garden when sort of everything could maybe get a little bit grayed out and neutralized by dusk the white seems to glow and i love it so yes all for the moon garden Got a whole hairy but i've never heard from i've never heard that out. expression moon garden before so what is it? that is juliet that's juliet lost a lot of weight didn't she isn't that cute we're looking at the magazine now queen anne's lace we have ton of because it's like wild, it's wild everywhere. here. It's just These everywhere. Really good, French white marigold. Oh, Ooh, French white you marigold. Never, you never okay. really liked those, did you? Uh, the yellow ones, though. I don't care for marigold, but French white marigold sounds cool. Let's write it down and check it out. 
Oh, Audra just knocked a mug of tea all over her kitchen while she was listening. Well, that's sort of like me yesterday, Audra. So I called Aiden up and I was trying to get this oh, stream all set up. And um, I like to do that a day before so people can know. I'm trying to do like three or four weeks on with a video and then to just give me a break um, with editing, do it live. So I called Aiden up and I said, I want to do a live stream. Like I can't. Well, that is really pretty. Yeah, it is. It's like very, a white coxcomb pretty. or something. Um, and so, you know, he doesn't really like to help me that much. And he gets, like, really like, clicky. You can see it when he comes in. He's like, click, 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 click. You know, you're, <laughs> you need me, boomer. And so he clicked live. And I was, like, in a nasty milking sweatshirt, dirty hair, earbuds. Like, I was just, like, trying to cover all my bases and just check off my work list. And he he went live in the middle of the day. I had all the kids around me, and I think maybe about seven of you heard me scream, no! And that was really fun. So that's nothing to spilling tea all over your room. At least that wasn't like live for the universe to see for 10 seconds. I don't know like what sort of crazy seconds. notifications you all have set, but the fact that, that you guys saw that, it was like a 4.5 second period of time, and whomp, you all were there in the comment box. That was... <laughs> that, was that was crazy. Yeah, Rainbow Citizen caught that. <laughs> you guys are Super awesome. Oh my gosh, yeah. I was not happy. <laughs> I was not happy. Had I could I have seen the humor in it right at that moment, that would have been funny, but at, at the time yeah. I was not very happy. So still laughing. You should be laughing. It was funny. I mean, like I w I would have laughed at me for sure. Um, okay, I think you need to hear this story because you guys are always asking about Joel. This is a funny story. So my mom was here last week. Uh, Joel went to get her. He took the girls down to play with some friends for the day um, for, I can't put it in my bloopers. I think it's like totally gone. Like I can't even see it anymore. Um, Meghan Markle to Wallace Simpson. <laughs> but see, I kind of like Wallace Simpson. I don't know. Okay, I'm like... Sweetie, you got to scooch over so I can use my mouse. Right there. There you go. Um, you guys are always asking about Joel. And so my mom was here last week. Joel drove the girls to Illinois to play with some friends, picked up my mom, and brought her back for the week. It was her birthday week. And then I was going to um, take her back, and we were going to – I was going to get my hair cut, and we're going to hit the – so um, because two, I haven't – hardly gone to since I moved and they've canceled it because of COVID and this was actually um it was actually we could actually go however do you like Megan Markle to Wallace Simpson I already said I like I kind of Wallace Simpson kind of intrigues me yeah in a Sorry. okay Chanel fashion sort of way but um YouTube is not receiving enough video <laughs> Um, the problem is that, you know, Fern is my cow, you know, so I took advantage of a pandemic and I got a cow. She's my cow. And it was time for Fern to, um, get pregnant. So yes, um, cat. Yes. And Wallace Simpson was on the wrong side of World War II. And I, when I say she intrigues me, I wouldn't say like, that's why she intrigues me. But the whole unfolding of her story that's being revealed to us now is intriguing. I'm not saying it's appropriate. I'm saying it's very intriguing. Like, we as Americans were kind of like, yeah, yeah, the, the American divorcee, you know, let's have her back. And now we're looking at it going, uh, maybe not so much. Um, so, You're cutting anyways. Out. I'm cutting out. Hmm. Bummer. Why am I not receiving enough video? Okay. I hope you guys heard my answer on Wallace Simpson. Right? <laughs> that would kind of suck. <laughs> it sounded like I was sympathizing with her. Um, so, anyways, I'm just like waiting for YouTube to give me the notice that you're getting enough information from me. Um, anyways, 
Uh, this I was scheduled to be out of town while Fern was in heat. So we had marked the calendar, and Joel wasn't really too keen on it. But, um, oh, Jeannie sees my uh, Sam Edelman's on the floor. Boom. She likes him. Boom. Um, uh, anyways, it says that I'm back now. So I hope you guys were able to hear what I was saying about Wallace Simpson because considering our current political climate, I wouldn't want to be mistaken. Uh, she intrigues me <laughs> because she's intriguing. And I think like as Americans, we were all very gung-ho for the American divorcee and we were proud to infiltrate the royal family. And now that we have more historical evidence, we're a little bit um, embarrassed by that fact. So I said that a few minutes ago, but things were buffering. So um, anyways, Joel's I'm scheduled to be out of town. The cow needs to be inseminated, all right? We do not have the property nor the um, fortitude to host a bull on our property. I'm totally not interested in that. So we called the vet and gave her, gave him the heads up that it was time for Fern and could we, you know, employ your services. So I just have to tell you guys, like, this is 10, 7, 15, 10, seven years ago, like this would, this is like totally, you know, your life can totally change. And I think that's something that intrigues people about the channel is you've, you've seen the beginning story and you've seen like how we've, we've changed. Like we are here now. We didn't used to always be here. Life wasn't always like this for us. And so the other day I get this text from the vet and he's like, oh, good news. Um, I was able to hunt down some frozen Jersey semen so I can be there on Sunday. <laughs> it's like, I know for a lot of people, I know I have a lot of ranchers and farmers and stuff that watch the channel, but that was just the most bizarre text for me to ever receive. And I just had to um, have a chuckle over it. So now, um, I'm out of town and I'm driving my mom back to Illinois because I'm gonna drop her off, but we're gonna do the farmer, uh, the flea market, and then I'm gonna drive back. So she, Joel knows that I'm driving and she's the passenger. And um, she gets this text. So when I left that morning, now, but mind you, I'm making like a 20 hour, I'm bonsaiing it down, I'm, I'm hanging out with my cousin, like we're staying up and like we were up till two and then I got up at 5.30 to go to the flea market and then I came back home. Like this is just like whoop, whoop. And um, so in this little window of time, the cow is going to be in heat or so we think. But that morning when I leave with my mom, she's not really bellowing. So when the cows are in heat, they just make like a ton of racket out in the pasture and she wasn't really doing that. So um I texted the vet and I said, I'm, I'm leaving, but I'm leaving Joel in charge and this isn't really his bag and uh, he's going to keep a, an eye on her and he'll let you know. So we're driving. This is like five hours later and I'm driving south. My mom gets a text. She's like, well, this is Joel. And he says, Phil says, Phil, the vet, Phil says the best way to see if the cow is in heat is if I go out there and see if she will mount me and I'm still alive. <laughs> I thought I was going to drive off the road. So I come, that's what he did. I came home and I said, what in the world did you do? He said, well, Phil said the best way, if she's not carrying on, the best way is to go out there and kind of shake my butt at her and see if she'll mount me. I'm like, are you kidding me? So he, I said, what did you do? He said, I went up and I kind of like turned my back on her and just kind of like bumped her, <laughs> bumped her hip. <laughs> bumped her hip a little bit and she didn't do anything and she's like so I I did it again you know I gave her a bump you know, turned my back to her and he's like sure enough <laughs> he's like I I, he I screamed like a six-year-old little girl <laughs> and I ran out of there <laughs> and Dr. Phil came with his turkey baster and did, <laughs> did what he needed to do <laughs> It just is like the best text ever from my husband, and I'm still alive. <laughs> like, 
I don't know if that's funnier than the me shooting Sean story. I don't. Sean's better. Sean is better. Sean is a pretty good story, but oh my gosh, the hippie hippie shake. That's right. Ansley stopped to get a Ferdinand preferred. Do what? No way. I'm not. We don't. I'm not don't bringing a bowl. a bowl in. Like we don't even. I don't even know that there is a. Bad enough. Farmer, that's the problem. Is there really isn't a farmer around here with a Jersey Bowl? We're we're Holstein. This is a Holstein. Uh, we're Wisconsin. Okay, like Joel's got his cow on. Joel still got it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I could have seen it, Courtney. I wish I could have seen it like that. <laughs> Ride him, cowgirl. It's the best. I know. Would we not all have paid money? I think next September we'll have to film film that. Yeah, Dr. Phil, Julie, Dr. Phil. <sighs> so those are two good farm stories right back to back. Can you tell us, for sure. Um, can you tell us the um, oh, Sean my goodness. story? Oh, you know that story. <laughs> yeah, I told him Sean last month, so yeah. That's funny. <laughs> too much. Too much. <laughs> Social climber. <laughs> She's the only one with a long enough arm. Oh my goodness. Fern is really beautiful and he put his junk his hand up in her business and he's like, Oh, she's really in heat. So we've got the calendar marked for three weeks from now and we're gonna give a listen and pay attention. Maybe we'll have Joel back it up. Back it up. You got it. You got it. <laughs> like see if she's frisky. If she's not, then then good job. Then we'll have a calf next June again. So um, Laura, uh, Amelie and I do the milking. That's my milking partner back there. So, yeah. <laughs> no, he, he didn't sweet talk her. He just went out there and shook his money maker, apparently. Oh, Sue Benton doesn't know the Sean story. Oh, I can't tell the Sean story again. So, <laughs> you'll have to watch, days, just, just like watch the, stre the, the, the stream from last month because, um... <laughs> Summary? No, yeah. you can't summary of it. You, I, you I can't. Tell I the whole thing. Sorry. Yeah, I got attacked by a farm animal, and I dispatched him with my three eighty. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Stormy, <laughs> that's a great question. Essential oils are okay to use around dogs. Yes, like in your diffuser and stuff. Absolutely, I use them on my pets. Um, just want to do a little bit of research on that. There's a great. Um, veterinarian on Facebook. I hate Facebook, but she's on there and she's um, Janet Rourke. And she is going to have a ton of information for you about using oils with your pets. Main thing is like with the cats and stuff, like leave a door open so if they don't care for the diffuser, they can get out. But yeah, I mean, I've used oils on my cats, on my sheep, on my goats, on my cow, like everything. So Joel's got a heifer on the side. Yeah. She's not quite a heifer, but. Do you have any desserts this week, Mom? Um. Whipped cream. <gasps> oh, you're funny. You Aiden uh, got a burr up his butt today to make whipped cream, which is not a big deal, but it's like so funny to have your 15 year old say, I need whipped cream. cream. Like, well, you know how to get the cream off the top and get out the mixer and. <laughs> Do it instead. <laughs> Do your thing. Uh, I made <laughs> last night. I mean, I don't know. I made a really good meal tonight. Really good meal last night. Maybe we'll do a dessert this weekend, but I don't have any specific plans. Um, Debbie, best bread for a beginner. I think if I was to be so humble, I think that my bread video is really great for a beginner because it's not a sourdough and it's just a great way to make a huge, beautiful country loaf looking bread. What's your um, favorite red lipstick? Um, my favorite red lipstick is okay. Fly Girl by Lip Sense. That is my favorite. I know I need to expand my horizons, but Fly Girl is my favorite. So, yes, Kat, Aiden did it himself. He he did. He wanted me no, to do didn't. it, and I was like, no. Oh, he didn't? <laughs> I what? You are such a little enabler with him. <laughs> what did you do? Well, he didn't even know it was setting to put the mixer on. And so you did it all? Yeah, basically. Okay, so Ami Lee made the whipped cream. Uh -huh. Oh! 
Can you show them your cute sweater? Yeah. It's your mm. Look at this cutie. Isn't that sweet? We call these ABBA sweaters in our family. These big wintry looking sweaters. We call them ABBA sweaters. Um, oh, great. Elsie used, used frankincense on her dog's cancer. Fantastic. Um, I don't know what the carnivore diet is, but I love meat, so it sounds good. Uh, yeah, right? I, I, I <laughs> Why did Laura, that, no, um, lip sense doesn't it. stain your lips. It does come off. I mean, I'm like psycho about but washing my like you can... my face at night, but it does, um, I don't have lip sense on now. No. See, I don't have lip sense on now, so it's coming off, um, but it does stay on, so. Oh, let's see. Thank you, Joel loves the cookbook. <laughs> Oh, that's really good. Um, you know, a lot of you guys are still talking about um, Wallace Simpson. And I will say, if you want a really excellent look and understanding of Wallace Simpson, if I can plug another podcast, is a two-part, it's very long and rightfully so, two-part podcast um, from the History Chicks on Wallace Simpson. It is so well done, and they they. They look at every aspect of the woman's life, and they do um, reveal the the Nazi sympathizer ties, and it's really, really good. I mean, for those of you that love history and you're intrigued by the royal family, I would say definitely go listen to the History Chicks. Everything they do is good. Their audio is not my favorite sometimes, but everything they do is very well researched. The History Chicks, Wallace Simpson, it's parts one and part two. Phenomenal. Okay. Ainsley needs dinner ideas. Today we did, tonight we did um, salmon fillets in, I pan fried them a couple minutes on each side and then I made gnocchi and then uh, for the side I had uh, coconut milk and I just did like a hodgepodge of flavor. So I had coconut milk, I little used a, like two drops of doTERRA lime oil, um, julienne, poblano peppers, some garlic, some basil, let that simmer. After the salmon was done cooking, then I put it in the coconut milk and we ate it with the gnocchi and it was like, oh, really delicious. Oh, do we have an outdoor oven? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Not yet. We have this, we have this big, sore of a spot in the garden that I always like try to like skip over on YouTube because it is so ugly. We have a spot where the outdoor oven has been supposed to be installed, has has been supposed to, has been supposed to be installed. That is I'm like a homeschool mom. Um, I can't even say it correctly at this point. I'm so embarrassed. Say what? It's supposed to be... <laughs> Help. Okay, what are you trying to say? Has been supposed to. <laughs> it has been supposed to. It's supposed to. That's, that's what I just said. Wait, I was I was repeating what you... I don't know. <laughs> we have a spot in our stone wall that is that... supposed to be the bread oven. And so there are cinder blocks and there is a spot carved out for it. And it's just still not finished. And so I picked the front door in lieu of the bread oven and so the bread oven and the greenhouse will god willing be done next spring and i picked the front entrance because i want to be able to decorate it with christmas greens dang it there we go let's talk about marie antoinette let's do let's talk Ooh, about marie yay. antoinette all day long burrito gravy and let's talk about wet burrito gravy yes to all my michigan friends Okay. So say it fast. It's supposed to have been. Oh, is that the proper way to say it? <laughs> I can't even remember. What did I even, what did I even say? It's supposed to have been or something. Oh, my goodness. Like you need more wine. And so oh, my goodness. You know if you're still taking copper heart. If you... I am not taking copper hearts. Okay. There's four of you out there in the world that are still waiting on copper hearts. I oh. emailed you. My... Coppersmith broke her foot. We've had like a she did? She did? yes. Aww. We've had a series of problems, just like other small companies. Sourcing has been horrendous. 
So it's just gone from like, we thought we could get the copper, couldn't get the copper, finally got the copper, she broke her foot. The last four orders are God willing going to be filled by the end of October. She has a new book that she's like promoting. And then I'm going to try to circle back around with her maybe next spring and start taking more custom orders. But for now, this poor woman is fulfilling her end of the bargain and yeah, it's uh, not gone quite the way we wanted it to, as with so many other small businesses. So, <sighs> there are only 98 likes. Come on. Oh, you got to give the likes. There's 259 likes. So oh, okay. Just reveal the page. Okay, Evelyn, you need to refresh your page. <laughs> okay. 259 likes. I forgot to like Oh, it. my nose is itching so bad. And Excuse me, guys. Six thumbs up. What in the world? We should have so six thumbs down. Six thumbs down. I don't know. Did I do anything new to the house? Um, um, well, well, I am so bad. Uh, yes, we're doing new things to the house. The front entrance is the biggest, but, you know, we have six homeschool students now, so it's just like everything's getting really intense family-wise. And so the projects have definitely slowed down and we have a lot more animals than we did when we first moved in and um 5k thumbs up holy cow for real okay whatever what is happening Mom? i don't know i don't know <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> oh, so um wow. our projects just take a lot longer farm life is extremely demanding the animals require a lot of time for joel the kids require a lot of time for me and so you know, where Chip and Joanna can turn out a project in one episode, like, it's the reality is for us, it takes like a good 90 to 120 days to be able to budget and have the time for a project. So, ah, uh, um, go to family breakfast. Uh, we make a lot of pancakes, we make a lot of scrambled eggs, we make a lot of, we eat a lot of granola. Thank you, Azur, because I order granola. Granola, we call it 25 granola. pounds of granola. And we eat that, so. I did go to Chicago, Julie. Whew. Okay. Thanks, guys. You guys are so sweet. What kind of chickens do we keep? Um, a bunch. <laughs> I have. We've got a bunch my of chairs. So you guys know that this, like, this space, someday. <laughs> will Someday be. it's going to be my master bath. Right now, I take a bath in, like, a rusty funky bathtub we all do and the shower surround is uh screwed into the wall it's falling off, it's falling off. if we don't keep it screwed in it falls in on us <laughs> <laughs> um but i've got this beautiful big it's not necessarily old it's kohler which is local but kohler bathtub i have an old one for that bathroom but for this bathroom here so I have two, like, let me just clarify. You know I have a sink problem. Apparently I have a bathtub problem, too, because I have, like, lots of sinks, and I have two cast iron bathtubs. One is actually really old, and it will go in the bathroom down the hall where the shower liner is falling in on us. <laughs> the other one will go in my master bath here. Someday. Someday. Um, but it's a really good size. It's pretty wide. You know, it's not narrow like the older ones. It's pretty wide. Um, but right now... It's in the garage with a heat lamp and vintage screens, vintage window screens over the top, and it's full of chickens. <laughs> so, 24 chicks. No, we don't have horses, Krista James. 24? 18 or 24? There's We oh. have 17 outside. We have 24 in the garage. I, I mean, Drew encountered them too, like a couple of days ago. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to read. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would love to know your grocery budget for a size family and how you save money at. <laughs> I'll say that opens me up to a world of judgment. But, um, yeah, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. No, you guys have to understand, there are people that, like, hate me. Like, yeah, we know. They, it's just hysterical. Like, you tell them I got chickens in a the bathtub, they'll hate me. They saw that my kids were sleeping on mattresses on the floor instead of on bed frames, bed yeah. frames and they're like, 
teenagers. Can children sleep on the floor? Yeah, like people are so weird. So the thumbs down, you can just ignore them because it's probably those people. They just like tune in to hate. It's that hysterical. Um, mean? Apparently because they saw that I have a rotting, broken, totally Ill, <laughs> unusable John Deere tractor in the forest that I can't really afford to dispose of. And then we got a new one. I have three, if not four, John Deere tractors on my property. I really don't know what they're talking about. So take it with a grain of salt when I tell you what our grocery budget is. Um, I am extremely, um, a long time ago, I was very, I became very intrigued by the French model of eating. And I cannot do it exactly like they can because I live in America. But I was very intrigued by their concept of spending less on housing or less on vacations or less on food. They have small closets. They have smaller, or I mean, less on clothing. They have small closets. They have um, smaller wardrobes and spending more on quality food. Um, and so we do grow a lot of our own food. And I place a pretty good size order from Azure Standard every month and right now until we this will be our first year of butchering our own animals um, on this property um, once we kind of get in that cycle then that will take a big chunk off of it there but I would say that my Azure order is uh, food wise because there's other stuff that I order from them but I would say that there's a good $800 of it a month that go to food, and that I'd probably get an average of $275 to $350 of organic meat from the organic farmer a month. And then I grow, that's in addition to whatever we grow here. So that's a lot of money, but there's eight of us too, and I cook everything from scratch. So I think, you know, aside from like granola and stuff like that, um, I think that will I hope that will change. I'd like to bring that down just a little bit, you know, as we have um, our pigs that we'll be butchering and ducks and lamb and things like that. Um, I'm hoping to hunt this year, but it is, a. I think it, I don't, I mean, I don't know what others, I have no idea. I actually have no baseline. I think that's a good chunk of change, but I do know too that we don't buy any like snack food like I don't really have crackers and cereal that's Ooh. something like to the um yeah don't duck confies in the, the near future girlfriend um Ooh, what happened with the fireworks? yeah I think that's um oh I'm glad okay see I didn't know what you guys would say I don't have a baseline to me that just sounds like a whole lot of money but I'm extremely frugal too um yeah okay that's a reasonable budget all right <laughs> What happened? With okay, the so I have your approval. Room? The fireplace. Who is doing the butchering? Uh, Joel does the dispatching, and I do the butchering. Uh, I like that. Food is nutrition. Yeah, it's, so I feel like it's an investment into the family for sure. Okay. Family of eight spend twelve hundred dollars a month. Yeah. Well, it is probably. I mean, I bet by the time you like do like miscellaneous runs to the store or whatever. It's, I bet it gets close to 1500 a month easily. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, Oglesby, you're totally right. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't go cheap on food. Like, your food is just, I just think it should be an enjoyment as best it can. As best it can. So, um, somebody asked me something a second ago that I wanted to answer. And then I am 15, 12 minutes late for hanging out with these girls. So. The fireplace? What happened with the fireplace? Oh, what happened with the fireplace? Okay, so here's the fireplace story, and then we will... Um, Fire, what is the fireplace story? You know, from the other night. Oh, from the other everything night. that happened then. I was like, did we build a fireplace? <laughs> yeah. Four nights ago? What am I talking about? It was on... I know I wasn't I know, supposed was to be Monday. up that, that way. Was Monday. Monday night? What a way to start my week. Wednesday night. Was it Wednesday? It was no, it was Monday. Monday. It so was Monday, Monday, yeah. Monday night, uh, we were hanging out. Um, I just had the three older kids and Joel, and we were in the living room, the fireplace room. And um, Dad tells us it's 10. Yeah, it's like 10 30. And so I sent the kids to, Amelie runs upstairs to bed. To brush so her teeth. Amelie came up first to brush her teeth, and she got up to the top of the stairs and she said, it smells funny up here. Like, you guys should come and smell it. It smells like smoke or something weird. So I came up, and to me it smelled like um, 
food had, or food, I'm reading your comments. <laughs> food <laughs> like uh like plastic or fabric had fallen on a high, hot light bulb yeah like don't you think it had that kind of plastic but it was strong but it was really strong like really pungent and so we uh walked down the hall and you could the you know right by the bathroom is where the chimney is and you could feel the wall and it was warm I've, and so I've never felt it that one warm. of the kids ran upstairs and felt the chimney. metal chimney is in their closet. It's a big closet. We've got plenty of space around the oh chimney, my but um, it was hot. So I don't remember the, quite the sequence. I told Joel, like Joel ran outside yeah, to, to look like for sparks. sparks coming out of the uh, the chimney, and I think right about the same time, uh, I threw water on the fire and said you were going to call nine one one. And said I was going to call nine one one. Right as I said that, he hollered in and said I just saw two sparks come out of the chimney so I called 911 immediately and they were here like within three minutes we had to wait the I just didn't want to mess around the kids the 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 bigger kids went upstairs and got all the little kids they all came out like I didn't even know that was happening I was clearing stuff out of the way for the firemen like if they needed extra space <gasps> oh, in that no. closet I still, we still have <laughs> I know your clothes are still on the floor um so uh yeah I'm, it all just worked out splendidly. So there was the beginnings of a chimney fire. And we, I guess they're saying that maybe by throwing water on the fire, the steam put it out. They put the mirror down, they put the camera down, they saw nothing and um, just gave us the thumbs up, you know, after a good hour, hour and a half or so to go to bed. But the kids just sat in the driveway. They had their blankets. Nobody fussed. They did so good. Everybody got right outside of the house. I was so proud of them. I was busy doing things, you know, making, I just, you know, we have, like, Amelie like, has a mirror on her wall going up the little attic stairs. So I took that off because I didn't want them to be feeling like, you know, like they're big suits or whatever. There was time like we weren't Julie. on fire it was just warm you know but Julie, my heart. what sweetie I i'm almost Julie, done like, want his heart, like, 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 no, like, leave him alone if he doesn't want to come so so yeah um we can't have a fire until like november 3rd because we live in such a small area that we can't get the chimney cleaned until november and like november 3rd it's so sad it's i know like, like in the grand long. scheme of things that isn't a big deal but dang it that's how we stay warm oh. <laughs> and it's kind of sad because um we really need the chimney cleaned and it's going to be a long time that's a long time so we're very very grateful i was very proud of the family like everybody operated you know our family motto is team read and everybody operated as a team there was no drama all the kids got out Joel did what he needed to do I was up doing what I needed to do was it was great so yeah I was I'm very grateful and I'm very grateful for the firefighters they showed up really quick they got down our long driveway they were really helpful they gave us great suggestions so all went as well as it could so Yes, that's it. Yes, everybody's telling me about Rachel Wright. I don't, I didn't know that, but I've heard a lot from you guys that that's how she lost her house. So it's very sad. All right, everyone. Um, I think we're going to um, close this evening out because it's been an hour and fifteen minutes. I ask everybody for sure continue to pray for areas that are burning. Oh my goodness, tarnished treasures has had two fires in Utah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I thought she meant chimney fires. Does she mean chimney fires or normal fires? I don't know. I haven't quite been reading comments, but um, I'm gonna go fires. hang out. Oh and it's been a long week, and we have a really fun video for you next week. And I just would like to say, I, I don't know what's going on with the channel, but it's really fun. And thank you so much for every single comment, every single thumbs up, every single share on Pinterest and Facebook or wherever you are sharing your favorite videos that helps spread the word about the channel and that means a lot to us very much it means a lot to us very much <laughs> so you guys want to say good night means a lot to us very much mm -hmm. I'm tired man I'm going since 5 30 I'm tired all right bonsoir you know the drill a bientôt
Bye.